Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how to seamlessly integrate Prometheus with Grafana by adding a Prometheus data store. So we will learn about Grafana and Prometheus today. And then we will learn what are the advantage of Grafana with Prometheus as a data source. Then we will learn about Prometheus.yml file. And we need to follow some prerequisites which include we need to have a AWS Ubuntu server instance with sudo access and Prometheus and Grafana should be installed in that Ubuntu server with the default Prometheus.yml file. Then we will add Prometheus as a Grafana data source which include the steps like adding Prometheus. Then we will explore the view of the Prometheus data then we will visualize the Prometheus data in Grafana. Then we will learn about two metrics, which is process virtual memory bytes and process CPU seconds total metrics in Prometheus by visualizing this data in Grafana. Then we will conclude. So let's start. So what is Grafana? So Grafana is an open source tool for performing data analytics, retrieving metrics that make sense of large amounts of data and monitor our apps using nice configurable dashboard. So Grafana integrates with a wide range of data source, including Graphite, ProMatches, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, MySQL, and PostgreSQL, and etc. When connected to supported data sources, it provides web-based chart, charts, graphs, and alerts. Now we will learn about what is Prometheus. So Prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting toolkit designed for reliability and scalability in modern dynamic environment. So it was developed by Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Prometheus excels at collecting and storing time series data allowing users to gain valuable insights into the performance and health of the application and infrastructure. So it's with its powerful query language and support for multidimensional data, Prometheus has become a powerful choice for monitoring system with cloud native ecosystem. Now we will learn some advantages of Grafana with Prometheus as the data source. So by using Grafana Prometheus, a user can visualize the time series directly in Prometheus web UI, similar to the Grafana. And Prometheus provides a functional query language called as from QL that will let users to select and aggregate time series data in real time. And Prometheus can discover target dynamically and automatically scrap new targets on demand. So it will offer a variety of service discovery options for scrap target, including Kubernetes. Now we will learn about what is Prometheus.yml file. So this file is the configuration file called Prometheus. So it will specify parameters like target endpoints for data scrapping, alerting rules, and storage configuration. So this YAML file is crucial for Prometheus to monitor specific service and defining how data should be collected and processed for effective monitoring and alerting. So for this Prometheus.yml file, you can You can refer the article and below here you can see if you click on what is prometheus.yml file here you can find so this is the simple configuration where it have defined the target here you need to specify your ip address with the following port number which is 1990 for the prometheus so if you break so the scrap config will denote the start of the scrap configuration, defining how Prometheus collects data from various targets. Then it will define the job. So the job name will specify the label for this job as Prometheus, and it will help to organize and manage the related target. And the scrap interval is set to five seconds. So it will collect the data for this job, which is for every five seconds. And next, it will define the target group 
definition so where you define the target endpoint for data collection. here it is the one target specified as we have learned it is ip with the 1990 which means the port of prometheus so in summary this configuration will instruct prometheus to group the targets under the label prometheus and collect the metrics from the specified target prometheus server at ip address here you can find the ip address and it will perform this data collection every five seconds now next we will see some steps to add prometheus as graph under data so in pre-requisites pre as i have mentioned that you have to install Prometheus and Grafana on our Ubuntu server. So as I have installed already the Grafana and Prometheus, here you can see the default page. And here you can find my IP address associated with the port number. For Prometheus, it is 1990 and for Grafana, it is 3000. So here you need to simply type your login credential the login page of Grafana. So simply type username as admin and password also as admin and click on log. Then you can skip this. And then here we can find the default page. Now in Prometheus, here you can see the status. And if you select on the target, here you can find the local host 90. So it means that it is associated with your IP address. In the prometheus.tml file, as you have mentioned, the IP address, which is 13.234.225.30. So here you can see this crap is 9.682 seconds ago, and the duration is for 4.682 milliseconds. So as we move forward here you need to simply click on the add your first data source so if you click here you can find the prometheus and other data sources so as we are performing practical on prometheus data source you need to select it so here you can see it will give a message that data source has been added successfully so after this, you need to select the default. Then in connection, you need to simply type your IP address with the associated port number. So here you can also copy the IP address here and paste it here. With colon. Then you can set the default authentication as per your requirement. You can set it as unable or disabled. And then we will keep simply all the other settings as default. Now we will click on save and test. So here you can find the successfully queried the Pro Prometheus API. Now we will simply click on explore. View. So here you can find the view. Now we will select metrics. So first you need to type here the metric which you want. So currently as we are going to learn about pro process virtual memory bytes metrics. So here you can find the name. And in select label, you just need to type your process. Okay, the first we will learn about CPU seconds total. So you just select instance and select the value which is local port. Then simply you can also select the target. You can also select the time here. 
So currently I have selected as six hours and then you can run the query. So here you can see the graph. Here you can select line bars and points according to your requirement. And if you select five minutes here, you can see the graph of five minutes. So this process CPU second total metric is used to indicate that total CPU time consumed by a process measured in seconds. And it is helped to track the cumulative CPU time expended by a process, which will provide insight into its computational workload. Now we will See about the metrics called as process virtual memory byte. So it will represent total virtual memory usage of a process. So simply type your process. Here you can find the process virtual memory bytes. Click on this and simply run the query. So here you can find the bar graph. As you click in the line graph, it will display the line graph. So the process virtual memory byte can be used for monitoring the virtual memory consumption of a specific process, helping to assess its resource utilization. So these metrics are crucial. The so both the metrics are crucial for understanding the resource utilization and performance characteristics of processing in a system, where the process virtual memory byte metric give insights of the memory usage, while the other process CPU second total quantify the CPU time consumption both essential for effective monitoring and optimization. So in this article here you can find the image we have explored about the matrix. So now we will conclude for today. So in conclusion this guide will empower users to seamlessly integrate pro methods metrics into Grafana, fostering the creation of enhanced monitoring dashboard by harnessing the combined power of pro methods and Grafana. So users can gain a robust solution for real-time insights and effective visualization, elevate, elevating their monitoring capabilities and overall system observability. So here you can find the related articles where you can find how to install Prometheus on Ubuntu. And you can also refer to the Grafana installation official page to install Grafana as well as Prometheus on our install. So thank you for watching the video and please subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, hit on the bell icon to more new content. Thank you.